Hey Aries, what's up Aries? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition and I am here to do your love reading for, let's just say the first half of August. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is a general and to only take what resonates with you. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with you guys in love. If I resonate, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, and our follow. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, uh, Aries, fireintuition.com. That is the only way you guys can book with me. I'm not going to take those. I'm just trying to get a good shuffle, Aries. All right, Aries, let's see. There will be an extended reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. And I will also leave the link to your extended reading in the description box below. All right, so let's hop in, Aries. Let's see what's going on with you guys. In love. Aries, let's see. All right. So when it comes to your person and how they feel about you, let's see how your person is feeling about you, Aries. We have the three of wands. Their current intentions. What do you want, Aries? The four of wands. What does your person want from this relationship? We have the three of pentacles. What brings you guys together? We have the five of swords. What pulls you apart? Is the ace of wands. The current energy around the relationship is the four of pentacles. What's hidden? Page of cups reverse. The potential outcome is the king of cups. At the bottom, we have the moon. Could be a cancer or Pisces. We have the moon. We have the two of pentacles. And we have the four of cups in reverse. So Aries, this could be you or your person, but it looks like somebody is back and forth about making an offer. Okay, the four of cups reverse is it's an offer coming in. It's a love offer. And I definitely feel like you guys want the same thing. I'm not going to say there's fear, but there has to be something that is stopping you or this person from saying something. There's a lot of communication, a lot of fire energy. There's a lot of back and forth energy here, messages, communication, all of that. So let's hop in. Let's not waste no time, Aries. Let's figure out what's going on. Um, the Five of Swords is what brings you guys together. So you guys could have got closer through like, I'm not going to say they were ending something, but Five of Swords is three people on here. And maybe that's how you guys connected. And maybe it started out as like a third party or they were like ending a relationship and because when I, outside of this card, everything was very positive. And I feel like somebody could have been like vulnerable or was going through something. And maybe our, both of you guys are going through something at the same time. And it pulled you guys closer together. Or that's what like just brought you guys together. But we're going to see. All right, Aries. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We have the three of wands. So this is how they feel about you. So three of wands is, is movement. It's forward movement. It could be that, you know, you guys have made some plans or said certain things and they still want to move forward with that. But it just is a lot of communication and movement. All right. So let's see. We have a judgment in reverse. Why is judgment in reverse? For how this person feels. Four cups. So there is a little fear. There's some rejection here too. And this person kind of feels like I want to move forward. But what if they don't want me and they don't want to move forward? Or what if we move forward and it, it, what we got just goes wrong? So because I feel like they don't want to they don't want to mess up what y'all have is what I strongly feel just looking at the cards. And I feel like the way things are, they like that and maybe they are scared to. Like, if you guys do take it to the next level or come out of, like, this friendship or whatever you guys have going on. Because I feel like there's a friendship here. 
you guys can be in a relationship but I don't know, Aries, what I'm getting is like, if it's not a relationship, you guys have a friendship or this is somebody that you're really close to and you guys both want a relationship, you guys both want to be together, there's a lot of, like I said, chemistry, you guys talk, you guys connect and all of that, but Four of Cups is, is them thinking that you maybe don't want that, you know, or they feel like you may reject them. We have judgment in reverse too. So it's kind of like they're undecided. They're just like, what if we move forward? Like I said, what if we move forward and it just doesn't work out? All right, so let's see. Why is Eight of Wands here for their current intention? So let's see, Eight of Wands. Justice. They want to speak the truth. That's what I'm saying. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to come out of this fear. They want to come out of this. <laughs> so Aries, like somebody wants to come out of this energy. They really want to tell you how they feel. Like they're scared. They want to be honest and truthful with you, but they're scared to tell you. They're scared to tell you how they feel. But want you so bad. Like so weird. All right, let's see. Four of Wands. As far as what you want. So you guys could, you know, definitely want something solid, something stable, some type of security, stability. A commitment with the four of wands you guys uh could be dealing with another fire sign an aries like yourself a, um a leo or sagittarius see look we have the eight of wands that's what you want and that's what you guys talk about i feel like you guys talk about this type of stuff like marriage commitment children like all that type of stuff but i feel like you really want it with them let's see Tower reverse. Pay the cups reverse. And look at you, Aries. You're kind of scared to open up about it too, even though you guys talk about it. And that's kind of like, not like an Aries. But I feel like maybe you guys have been hurt in love or just went through a lot of love. And you're just like, mm -mm. like I'm not going to say much, even though this is how I feel. And I feel like for some of you guys, you don't want to be like friend zone or you don't want to do the friends or benefits. Or if you guys are, you actually want more than that. But I don't feel like you're speaking up about it. You could be. But this to me just is telling me like somebody has been really hurt in love. And somebody is like blocked and guarded. And they want this relationship but just not acting as if they do. So just not so like not like you're not being open to it with them. But I feel like they know and I feel like you know when it comes to them. I feel like you guys both know that you guys both want this but it's just not being communicated. And I feel like their actions are showing like, because I feel like there's a lot of love and feelings and support here. Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, King Cups. That's like support, love, emotions, feelings. I got you, you got me if you need anything. So there's a lot of like, you, you guys have a lot of that here. So let's see why the Three of Pentacles is in their energy for what they want from you. So three of pentacles is like, yeah, putting plans in action, making it happen. It's a commitment. It's let's see what's going to happen. Let's build. Let's have something. You know, look what came out. Queen of pentacles. So definitely. <laughs> Queen of pentacles. They think you will make a good partner. Queen of pentacles is very loving and nurturing. She's a good mother. She knows how to cook, clean. She's responsible. She pays her bills on time. She's educated, all that type of stuff. So either that's the way they think towards you, like think about you, you know, or they definitely want commitment with you. And you see how there's a tree out here and it's like, this represents growth to me. Like they want something that is long term, something that is going to grow. And look, wow, look what's at the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that until I like looked up. I'm like, wow, King of Pentacles. So yes, wow. And you see how, like, she's taking care of him, and I feel like he takes care of her. Like, she's giving him, like, the foot massage, and I feel like that's how you guys are. You guys always have each other's back. You guys are super close. I don't know, Aries. Like I said, it's not like y'all not to say nothing. Let's see. We have this five of swords here. This is what um, brings you guys together. What brings you guys together. Five of swords. We have the six of pentacles. We have the page of wands. So you guys can relate to each other. Mm -hmm. 
and the five of cups in reverse is you guys both just kind of moving on from this energy so for some of you guys you guys both kind of just went through some heartbreak or went through something or like in some type of third party situation or was with somebody that was manipulative that was mean or where you guys just both felt defeated in a relationship or got tired of whoever you guys were with and i feel like you guys start giving in to each other and talking and you know like oh i went through this oh i went through that and you know i feel like it went from there and now you guys have built this you know relationship with each other and I feel like you guys can laugh and be very playful with this person. Page of Wands is here. And then we have the Five of Cups in reverse. So you guys are both helping each other move on from whatever you guys just came out of. Yeah. Let's go into this Ace of Wands. This is what pulls you guys apart. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Two of Cups or Universe. Yeah, because for some of you guys, you, I, you guys are just friends. And let me get one more card. Mm. We have the King of Cups in Universe. We have the Two of Cups in Universe. So this is what pulls you guys apart. Once with this King of Cups, so I have the King of Cups reverse. We got the Ace of Pentacles. This has something to do with like self-love or something to do with opening themselves back up to love again, even though they do have these strong feelings towards you. Because I feel like both of you guys with the two of cups, like there's some type of imbalance and I feel like this has to do with like the heart chakra or just some past hurts or things that you guys are needing to heal from because the ace of wands is telling me that there's nothing that can really like come apart i mean come between you guys because that camp that chemistry that passion all that is there but then it's like somebody is are both you guys because the two of cups is two people here you guys are coming off as emotionally detached or like emotionally guarded or like hurt and i feel like maybe that's why they're scared to open up but if you know they do open up you will be the person that they want to commit to with the ace of pentacles one to the king of cups reverse yeah see this person has been hurt you got the ten of swords here too The chariot is here. See, in the three of swords. And they don't want to move forward and get hurt again. Or they're trying to avoid some type of heartbreak. But like I said, again, if they were to commit or be with somebody, you would be the person that they commit to. And I feel like that's why it pulls you guys apart. Because they're like pretty much shutting off how they really feel and what they really want with you. And it has to do with some, like I said, some hurt some pain, something they experienced, something they went through, and they don't want to go through that again. So if it's not both of you, then they need to let their guard down, or both of you guys do, if you want this. Okay? So we have the four pentacles here for the energy around the relationship. So it looks like you guys are holding on, or they're holding on to this relationship, or whatever you guys got. They're not letting go. It's the four wands. They're holding on. I mean, the four pentacles. They're holding on tightly. You guys can be dealing with the earth sign, towards Virgo Capricorn. Let's see what this is about. Wow, you guys are in the same energy. Look, both of you guys are holding on to this. Both of you guys are holding on. Both of you guys are not letting up, letting go. And the hangman is there. But it's like, it's not bad that you guys are both holding on, Aries, but it's it's keeping the relationship stagnant and it's it's like it's not going nowhere. So it's like you're holding on to them, they're holding on to you, but nothing's happening. The hangman is like nothing's happening. So it's just like right now, I'm just just be honest, like you guys are just gonna keep holding on to each other. I don't really see no action or no movement or anything like that. Page of cups is in reverse, and this is what is hidden. Let's see why I have the page of cups in reverse. 
the nine of cups look at all this love and feelings they have nine of cups the king of cups so what's hidden is how they truly feel it's how they really feel. For some of you guys, somebody drinks, and when they get drunk, they think about you, they're in their feelings, they get very emotional, but they're not going to show that to you or show that in front of you. Um, for some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that is very attractive. Page of Cups in reverse, Page of Cups in general. It can just be like a pretty boy, somebody that's very nice looking, they're attractive, you know, they got like the, the, the colored eyes, or like the good hair, you know, something like that. And... Um... But whoever this is, they have a lot of feelings. Nine of Cups. Two of Wands. Two of Swords. Every time they, they think about, like, saying something or coming towards you or making a decision or about to make a decision or about to say something, whatever, they, they get stuck or feel stuck. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Aries. Let's see why this King of Cups is here. This is the potential outcome. Why the King of Cups here? The Death card. No. So it's like, even though this person has all these feelings for you, it's like this person is definitely feeling up, feeling like putting their feelings to the side and just like letting it go. And I look, and we have the lovers. I hope they change their mind, Aries. The magician is here. Mm hmm damn Aries because the, the death card is like just like it's like them cutting off their feelings but it's like deep down inside they got all this love for you the magician is here could be a Virgo or a Gemini um when I'm feeling with this area is when the timing is right I feel like it's I feel like it's going to manifest It's just, like I said, one of you or both of you guys are emotionally guarded. And they need to open back up that heart chakra. And allow themselves to, like, love again. They do have love for you, so it's not like they don't care about you or, they, or there's somebody that's cold and heartless and doesn't have feelings. They, they just, they're scared to be hurt again. And I feel like they can't believe that they got hurt. They're like, I can't believe I got hurt or played or whatever happened in their last situation. So it could be some like insecurities or things like that too. You know, personal things that they're working through with themselves, you know. So let's pull your romance angels. The first card that came out is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment. So I feel like you guys are both attracted to each other. There's a lot of attraction. For, um, let me see, Aries. We have express your love. So it says, go ahead and make the romantic gestures. But I don't fight this person is expressing their love. They want to. Wow, look, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that's what they need to do. They need to heal and release that past situation. And look, we have a new love. So you are their new love or they want new love with you. Overall energy, this could be the one. So they feel like you could be the one, Aries. But they're not doing nothing about it. Let's see from them to you. Let's pull some love messages from them to you. From your person to Aries. We have pressure. So it says apply the pressure. It's now or never. Do not go back and forth. See? They need to apply the pressure. They're even telling themselves, like, go ahead and do it. It's now or never. They need to listen to themselves. But then I tell you guys this was something to do. It has something to do with self-love. I just said that. And it says, your love for self will attract the love you desire. And they feel like you are somebody for them. But I feel like they're just on a self-love journey and really loving themselves and focus on themselves. Even though they have these strong feelings for you or both of you guys are. Or maybe for the first time in their life, they really are taking the time out to love themselves. That is important in a relationship. Maybe they weren't doing that before. All right. So let's see from you to them, Aries. From Aries to their person. We have distant love. Someone is always thinking of you. So I feel like you always think about them. When you're at work, when you guys aren't talking, if it's been a couple of days, if they're at a distance, whatever it is, you guys think about this person. All right. And then we have sex. 
you and your partner will teach each other new things in the bedroom. So I feel like the sex is on point. I feel like they taught you a few things in the bedroom. Or maybe you taught them Aries. But um, I just feel like there's a lot of attraction, chemistry, good sex, love, all of that. But they got to get over this hurt or whatever it is they went through. Let me pull from my What's Really Going On Oracle deck. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. We have unfinished business. So you guys may have unfinished business. And then we have something with Facebook. Maybe you've seen something on Facebook. Or maybe that's how you guys connected was on Facebook. Or just maybe Facebook is significant. guys are cool and got this connection i feel like they do talk to other people because we have sexting instagram we have rebound and i feel like they may deal with these other people or talk to these other people because it's nothing serious and it's not what they want so it is kind of like mess around talk to these people or whatever but there's unfinished business between you guys for sure okay so that is what i have for you aries that is your reading um if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell if you guys would love to book fireintuition.com i will pin the link to your extended reading in the comments below it's also going to be in the description box as well all right bye aries